Grana Wheat Ninibong. And welcome back to my channel here at Vector Sigma Reviews, uh, where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers related. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron version of the Trans, the Decepticon spy master himself cassette man aka soundwave so as always we do on this channel uh we're also gonna we let's like start with the box but what we're also gonna cover today is whether or not uh soundwave is actually the first quad changer of the war for cybertron trilogy so i'll be showing you all four yes four of his modes uh, and one of them whether or not that is a real mode or not uh, we shall see um, but we will cover all four modes today um, I'm not going to show the transformation for the main mode but I will show the transformation for the other two slightly more obscure modes so first of all let's start looking at the box set him over to the side Box art, standard Siege, War for Cybertron deal. The front, Siege, War for Cybertron trilogy, Soundwave, the side, War for Cybertron S25. You've got his uh, insignia on the back there. Uh, I might do a video on this insignia now because I now uh, I've seen some some documentation kind of explaining what all that means so i may actually do a, a little video on that at a later date transformers on the side hasbro the beautiful siege war for cybertron artwork on the side and then the back of the box is the usual product shot with his um spaceship type mode at the back, uh, pro, uh, him with his Micromaster tapes, the Battlemaster, and him in his robot mode there at the top. Uh, then on the side, fantastic piece of artwork there on of him. I love that. That is absolutely beautiful lovely piece of art there uh, and then of course as always on the back you can my black light turned off there you can read here the Decepticon logo on this one but what's also pretty good on this is if you look here in the black light you will actually see his third uh, alt mode, which is the telegraph pole or their version of the telegraph pole from uh, the first episode, the first uh, pilot episode. So this is the, the Siege War for Cybertron version there. And the, the Cybertronium writing that you saw there, if you type that up on the website, you'll start to see what, Cyber, what he was doing during the war, as usual. Right, so if we remove the box, there is one more thing on the box I just want to show you. And that's if you lift this little tab up here. So what we were looking at in the black light is actually here as well. So again, this is their version of the telegraph pole that uh sound wave turns into from the pilot episode so that's pretty cool so we'll take a look at that later on but there is another fourth mode as well so then we move on to the bot himself and first up looking at it he is really really nice lots of beautiful molding classic look gold around here uh, this is all plastic rather than paint everywhere I think that the, the, 
the battle damage on this one for the Warper Cybertron line looks so good as well on this one. I really, really love this bot. Have a look at the head sculpt here. The classic Soundwave head sculpt here as well. Looking fantastic, obviously. This was Soundwave's head also. The uh, groundwork for the Decepticon logo itself. So that's where the idea came from, from the head mold of Soundwave's head. So this is looking very similar to that, keeping that part of his uh, of him alive uh, we then look at everything else on the body and he is a real nice chunky but all the holes are pretty much filled in on him you've got some little holes in the arm here where the hands go in but everything else there's no gaps he has little to no backpack on him everything looks fantastic he's got his classic uh, shoulder mount there uh, I, I love love him in this mode uh, accessories wise he does come with the other battery which turns into more of a classic type gun this goes in and then it just pops out you have to pull it there so he's got that one as one of his guns and then he also has his other gun here which you can just pop in the other hand there like that and this one also kind of extends out like so as well so you can kind of have it like that or however you want it so yeah so that's it articulation wise we have Pretty good articulation, standard ball joint with a 360 swivel on his head. I like the way you can just catch the light with his eyes and it shines through really well. There. You can see his glowing yellow eyes there. Really nice articulation on the arms. Swivels, everything popping off there, really nice. You also get a 360 swivel there really good on the legs as well and you've got some good rotation at the knees a little bit on the foot not too much uh, he, he he's pretty poseable he's very chunky so you know and you, you get a you can lift these flaps up to get a little bit more leeway out of his his legs but otherwise you, you're restricted to there without lifting these flaps up but the little flaps do lift up so you can get some great posability from him if you want to move some of the the flaps around and he is also yeah fairly stable as you kind of pose him like that so yeah that's it of course this is where the tapes live and this is where what i have to say about this uh version of Soundwave really actually takes a little bit of a dip come on Hasbro what are you doing the, this version of Soundwave comes unfortunately with no friends he is a friendless bot so all of the tapes the spies that you want to get you have to buy them separately unfortunately with this bot which I think is a shame because it's one of the the main um, selling points of a Soundwave figure. I think that he he comes with uh, one of the tapes at least. I know we've always had to buy some of the tapes separately, but this one comes with none, and I think that's a real shame. Uh, the tapes themselves, I've seen them go for anything from around fifty. Pounds that's around 20 US dollars, uh, all the way up to anything like 30 to 40 pounds, which would be 50 to 60 um, US dollars as well. And if you're thinking you've got to buy two tapes plus the figure, two packs of tapes plus the figure, you know, you're starting to get definitely into second hand masterpiece um, money there. Is it worth it? 
I'm not sure. The robot mode is good. I don't, looking at what I've seen of the tapes, I'm not 100% uh, sold on the tapes themselves, actually, the transformations on them. I don't really like them too much. Um, I have the, the Masterpiece tapes, and I tried to see if the Masterpiece tapes would fit in here, but unfortunately, the Masterpiece tapes do not fit in here. So, I really think Hasbro have sold us short a little bit on this one by not giving us uh, the opportunity for it to come with some tapes. Before we do any of the transformation, comparison wise, here he is with an old school, uh, this is a KO Sound Blaster, so we can see where he, how he looks next to him. Obviously there's a huge difference there between the two, he's a little bit shorter than that, but he looks so much better, he looks so cool. Uh, next to Megatron from the same Waveline 35th Anniversary Megatron. You can see how those guys stack up. So he's a little shorter than Megs. And then we also have Skytread to bring out here. So you can see where Skytread, how Skytread looks with these guys. Ooh, if he wants to stand up as well so a little Decepticon family you can see how they all stack up together siege line looks so good together really love the siege line um and yeah what i'm gonna do now i'm not gonna show the transformation on this one um just because there's a lot to get through on this video so i'll bring it back when to show you the alt mode in a second So this is the alt mode for Soundwave. Yeah. I I I yeah. I I don't know how this needs to go down. I don't know. It's not something I'm a big fan of. It's oh yeah. It's not great. It's chunky, not kind of spaceshipy type thing, but yeah, for me this isn't screaming sound wave. And I could have, I could have, you know, I, I'm open. To, I'm not a purist who says he has to be a cassette player type thing because that obviously wouldn't work. But he could have been something else. I think you know he's. He is a spy master, right? So he could have been even a satellite or something, something spy -y rather than this. You know, it's a little bit, yeah, trying to, yeah. It, yeah, it, it, for me, this is, this is not really a, a great alt mode. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't recommend uh, somebody buying it just for this kind of alt mode uh, let's look at everything else battle damage on this looks pretty cool plenty of molding you can still see that this is something that they wanted to go all out on with regards to the amount of molding uh, nice paint job um, you know but even this you know this just kind of just stay there no you know it's just all a bit loose this this kind of moves all the time and so this one yeah it's just it's just messy it's just messy it's not a, a good spaceship mode um yeah I've got, i haven't got much more to say about this unfortunately um i would have liked to have seen something different and i really don't think that this is this is the greatest version of soundwave um ever the tape deck just kind of sits out in the back um yeah not not a, not a fan of this uh whatsoever um but now obviously like i said before we do have some other alt modes to look at so the first i'll, I'll transform him back into robot mode 
uh, and maybe we can have something that's a little bit more positive than this one. See you in a sec. Okay, so we now have Soundwave back in his awesome robot mode. And what I'm going to show you now is the first kind of strange alt mode that he has here. So this one uh, is the one from the UV part of the box and also the, the underneath of the box here bring this in there so this will be his cybertronian pylon mode from the uh pilot episode of transformers so to do this you're going to just remove the back head folds down and this piece folds all the way up so you've got that just sitting there like that flip the body round 180 the arms they're gonna wrap around and you'll see if you flip the arm around here you've got a little tab just there that's gonna tab into this piece here so you just tab that round and you'll see you will just tab that in there and fold the hand in stick that up stick this up and fold the hand in and then tab it just in at the back stick these little aerials up and there you have it so there you have the war for cybertron version of the pylon from the uh, classic pilot episode transformers it's pretty cool it's pretty nice i actually prefer it like this to be a little bit more g1 accurate and just more like the the pylon in the pilot episode so that's a nice bit of fun uh something a bit cool i will transform him again into the uh robot mode and then we'll take a little look at what is maybe a controversial fourth mode but you know is it a real fourth mode or is it not you tell me so uh we'll transform him back and then i'll show you how to transform him into his fourth mode okay Okay, so now we have him back once again in his robot mode. Uh, I'll now show you the secret fourth alt mode that's actually not called out anywhere on the packaging at all. Uh, G1 guys, you're gonna love this one. Um, and so let's we'll start the transformation and we'll look at it at the end but i'd love to know what you guys think about this one so when you're doing this secret fourth transformation you're gonna again bring this down roll his head back this secures back up then you're gonna come around here you're gonna transform the legs the same way that you would on the normal transformation fold the feet in unhook and bring it down so just fold that out and bring the feet down so then you've got him looking like this then we're gonna turn him around and you'll see here that it's actually very easy to remove the arms on Soundwave for some reason little pressure applied and the arm will just pop out just like so and the other one will just pop out very very easily you can see that the joint there and that is made very easily to pop out then that leaves it open for you to turn the legs and I think everybody can now see where this transformation is going 
pop it round there, level everything off properly. And there you have your classic tape deck mode even transforming pretty much the same way as the uh, old sound blaster or sound wave did with the legs coming up the side there um, if I place him next to my KO sound blaster see how that looks in general together you can see that the transformation on those two guys is very similar there's the legs there's the legs so this is a classic callback let's have a little look at how this looks and um, there is points here so you can fix the batteries into the back there and there or I've actually seen some people remove these as well for this transformation but uh, these ones to me look like they're supposed to come off I don't like removing this because these are on your normal joints so I don't really like removing them but these I think these when you look at the way this has been built I think this has been built to actually pop off uh, that way um, looking at it it's not bad it's a pretty good um, G1 uh, likeness um, I, I quite like it I think this is actually better than the alt mode it comes with um, I like it, it's a bit of fun it's a fun fourth alt mode not called out but let me know down in the comments section what do you think, do you think that uh, Hasbro have made that intentionally do you think that is supposed to be another alt mode there these arms for me, they come off just too easily to not be made that way for me. It's all uh, it's all supposed to be, and that's exactly uh, the way it is. So let me know what you think. So all in all, for me, is this one for your collection? It's a tough one, really is. Uh, for me, I think it's a it's a good robot mode the official alt mode is not great uh, and the other two alt modes are fun so if you're looking for a good bot to sit on your shelf a good version of Soundwave I would say get it um, but just bear in mind that even though the price point is okay on it it does not come with any of the tapes whatsoever and the other alt modes are just fun so let me know what you think of all the alt modes is is this alt mode right here is this an official alt mode or do you think this is a happy accident what do you guys think down in the comments section uh like share and subscribe obviously help the channel out a lot if you can um but thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one see you later bye